everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial using the Lorac Pro 2 palette, which I recently purchased. I think I've only used it in a video like once, but I have been using it in my like daily life every, almost every time I do my makeup actually. So today I'm going to be using the grays in this palette and the silver but i do plan on doing more tutorials if you guys want me to so if you want to see more tutorials with this palette and want to see the how i got this makeup look now if you decide to recreate this look please hashtag me at miss ruth 2121 please keep watching and we will get right into the tutorial so the first thing that I'm going to do is apply my Maybelline Tattoo in Tough As Taupe. Yeah, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to apply it all over the lid. Due to the fact that I'm going to be working with very powdery eyeshadows and especially being a matte formula, they do tend to have fallout. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, washi tape on here just to, you know, uh, prevent the fallout from getting all over my face. Why use tape when I can use some cute washi tape? So I'm going to just um stick it on there and i like to stick it you know so that it covers the bottom half as well all right so i'm going to be adding this charcoal shade right here all over my lid so i'm using my mac 239 brush and i'm patting it on so basically just like pressing it on. And um, question that I have for you guys is how is my lighting right now? I've been playing a lot with my lighting. Um, just trying to get the best lighting possible. I am in front of a window and I get a lot of daylight. I do get a lot of daylight light, but I also have a lamp um, with daylight bulbs or whatever, but um, I'm trying to get the best lighting possible. So let me know down below what you guys think. So I am kind of like, winging it out a bit um just because i do like kind of a soft cat eye look now i'm going to take a small brush this is the e25 by sigma and i'm taking that really pretty silver shade right there and i'm going to apply that to the inner corner of the eye I really do think this uh, Lorac 2 is my favorite of the two. Now I'm going to take this white eyeliner and this is from Essence of Beauty. So I'm going to just align the inner half of my uh, waterline of the rim of my eye. also a little bit like on the lash line
Now to the outer half of the rim of the eye, I'm going to use the one by Stila in, what's it called? In Stingray, and this is waterproof, and I like it for the waterline. All right, so now we're going to move on to blending the gray and I'm going to add a lighter gray so the next color that I'm going to take is cool gray and I'm going to mix it with charcoal just to create that gradient effect so yeah but first I'm going to blend out what I already have so yeah just what whatever I have left on my brush going to begin to blend the corner out because um, I don't want it to have like a line right there. So now those two colors are just going in the socket of my eye. And then just blending it out. Now I'm going to go back. Now I'm going to go back with my Mac 239 and reapply charcoal just to intensify it again. And now we can continue to blend. Alright, so now I'm going to take my Inglot Gel Liner in number 77 and create a wing on my upper lash line. So I'm going to use the washi tape as a guideline. So... Okay, so as you can see, the washi tape did catch a lot of the fallout. So I'm going to take it off and continue with my bottom lash line. I'm going to take the Stila Stingray uh, Twist Up Pencil and I'm going to apply it to the bottom lash line. And I'm just taking it like halfway in. Now I'm taking a, a pencil brush by Crown Brushes and smudging it out. Like that. Now from the Lorac 2, I'm taking that charcoal shade that I used on my lid and just mixing it with a black and uh, applying it to where I placed the eyeliner. And just kind of smoking it out. So now just 
to make sure everything is blended, I'm going to go back into Cool Gray and just re-blend my upper crease. So I'm going to apply one coat of mascara to my top lashes just because I'm going to apply some falsies and you want your falsies to always uh, join with your real lashes, bottom lashes. Alright, so as you can see, I have really dramatic falsies. And the reason is that I doubled up the lashes. So to create the, I guess, texture that I wanted on my lashes, I applied my Red Cherry number 43s like I always do in my videos. And on top of that, and on top of that, the number, the number 73s by Red Cherry, which are a lot more like separated. So now I'm going to apply them. And I'm not curling my lashes because I accidentally ran them over with my chair and twisted them. So now I don't have any eyelash curler. And the one that I used to have, I gave away because I bought a new one, so, yeah. So you want to, like, close your eyes like you're looking down. Not completely close them, but look down and just drop them on your lash line and begin to push them in. I like to push them in from the outer part and the middle part first and then I fix the inner part so the inner corner I fix last all right so I'm going to let them dry and then go over them with some eyeliner then I'll do the rest of the face so for my blush I actually did it uh, after doing my foundation because I used a I guess you could call it kind of a cream blush, but it's, I believe, like a gel formula. <laughs> Becca Beach Tint Shimmer Souffle in Papaya Topaz. And that's what I'm wearing. I didn't, I actually didn't layer anything on top. I just wanted it to look uh, very natural on its own and wanted to see how long it lasts on the skin. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to my lips. Going to line them with this Essence of Beauty lip liner and it is called In the Nude and I really like this. I feel like it's the perfect pinky nude lip liner and it's really creamy for something that's like $1.99. So Um, now for the lipstick, I'm going to be using a lipstick that, um, or this is actually a makeup brand that I believe was like UK based and now it's in the US and it is called MUA and this is, yeah, Makeup Academy. This was $9.50 and it is called Nude. It's just a nude shade so I wanted to go for something that was a bit more safe you know that um, I would l like wear much more so yeah this is nude go pinky nude wow that's really creamy That actually feels like a high-end lipstick, let me say. 
it has a little bit of a vanilla scent to it like a really light kind of candy-ish vanilla scent to it um i really like it the feeling actually reminds me of like mac or ysl i like the packaging as well i have to say like the fact that it comes with the color on top oh yeah this is the final look and yeah i wanted to keep the lips nude because my uh smoky eye is so intense so i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial kind of fall inspired tutorial if you have any video requests please leave them down below so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye